annoying, isn't it? Welcome to the channel. The creaking sound, I'm 100% sure, is coming from the clutch pedal itself or the clutch master cylinder. I can feel the vibration of the creak under my foot. The squeak, I suspect, is coming from the slave cylinder. I cannot hear any squeak sound near here. I'm going to remove the clutch pedal first just to rule that out before I get to the clutch master cylinder. To begin with, I'm going to remove this plastic cover. This clip turned it 90 degrees clockwise. On the left side, there will be a clip. Just pull that down and just take it out. This is the rod that comes from the clutch master cylinder. This is where it connects with your clutch pedal. And this is the retainer clip. So I will be removing this clip and then removing this metal pin. Then that will disconnect it from the clutch master cylinder, after which I will remove the four nuts. So I'll remove this retaining clip. I'll pull this pin out. And now that's disconnected. This is the metal pin. While I was taking the pin out, this fell out. This is part of the stopper that goes here. So I have to get that replaced. And do not adjust this bolt. This is your pedal height. It's set from factory. I'm not going to adjust it. Now I will be taking out these four nuts. Two are over here. Two are on the other side. And even I can't see it right now. Four 12 millimeter nuts need to be removed. You need to use a 12 millimeter deep socket. Uh, this one here is coming from the clutch master cylinder and there's another one also on the opposite side. I already removed the 12 millimeter nuts on the opposite side. That was actually quite difficult to get to. I had to remove the driver's seat, lie on my back and, you know, look at everything upside down. So this should come out now. So these two on the bottom, these are coming from the clutch master cylinder. Do not push this out. Three places need to be greased here, here, and here. I was worried that one of these may have broke and you can't get this separately. Uh, I don't really hear the noise. Now, I think if you have a look over here, right? Let me focus it. If you see this here, now the clutch is currently in a pressed position. So if, for example, the clutch is coming back up, that's where the noise mainly occurs. Now you can see that it's skipping and I can feel vibration. I'll remove the spring and re-grease everything up. The three points have been greased. Use any multi-purpose grease. I cleaned it first with a degreaser, but do not spray everywhere. If you look over here, where the pedal attaches to the frame, there is grease inside here too. And there's no way of getting grease inside, so do not spray over here. I also cleaned up this area. This is where the metal pin goes into, uh, which attaches the clutch master cylinder to the pedal. Now I'm not happy with the result. If you look at the spring here, when I pull the pedal up, it kind of jerks back into place. That I believe is causing the creaking sound. I can feel the vibration. I'm not sure if you can hear the 
noise on the mic. So I have to do something about this. Here's what I did. I got some electric wire and tied it off here. Now when I move the pedal, the spring stays in place. It doesn't move back and forth. I cannot feel any vibration and there is no noise. So hopefully this does the trick. As far as the stopper goes, I got the base of a clip. I'm just going to use that temporarily. I will put some grease over here and on this metal pin which slides into this. I greased this up a bit more. Uh, just make sure that the spring is resting properly. Now time to reinstall this. When installing the pedal back, and I've said this before, make sure you do not push on this, these two here. This is part of the clutch master cylinder and you'll push it out. I'm a bit of a stickler that if I can use a torque wrench, I will use a torque wrench. Torque specs for these nuts are 9.4 pound per foot. Now time to install that metal pin. I applied some grease over here also. There's some friction point between this bracket and the pedal. Now time for the retaining clip. That's all set. Moment of truth now. Okay, you can still hear the creak, so I'm not happy. It's the following day. I've just gone for a test drive. I would say that the intensity of the creek has reduced by quite a lot. That wire hack I did, I'm pretty sure that that's the issue, that middle bushing, the play in that is causing the creek. So the creek is more pronounced when I have to release the clutch slowly. But again, it has improved by a lot. So I have to figure this out. Going from second to third doesn't really creak that much where previously it was creaking quite a bit. It's only when I have to release it more slowly. So I have to figure this out. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I will be tearing apart the clutch master cylinder just to rule out anything wrong with that. Maybe something is contributing to the creak. While I'm at it, I will also take apart the clutch slave cylinder as the squeak sound is coming from that.